Hello again, welcome back. Uh, we're going to continue our discussion of Redux. Uh, you know, we're trying to make a shopping cart with Redux right now. And we've got our, you know, our product list is set up here, right? Here's our, our list of categories and our list of products. And we're creating the shopping cart, right? We have created an actions folder with some actions in it. So our actions currently look like this. We've got one action, right? And then we started with a reducer, right? So we created a reducer file, an index file, and a shopping cart reducer. And in the shopping cart reducer, the, um, the code that we put in looks like this. And we are importing our action. And we've created a reducer function. So the reducer function pulls in state and an action. And then it makes a change to state and returns new state. <clears throat> In our case here, we have pulled in this action and we've copied our array and added the new, you know, um, the new uh, index or a number, you know, which is the ID for a product to the array. And if we, you know, if we don't um, make any changes to state, then we just return state. Okay. And again, the, the shopping cart, the reducer is, is responsible for the default value for state. So when our system boots up, state is going to be an empty array okay so let's uh, let's continue now and and set up the rest of redux so i'm going to close this um, pane right here and uh, what we need to do now is we need to take this reducer and um, combine it with other reducers right so because we could have multiple pieces of state or state that's in different areas and then we're going to combine all those together and that's going to determine what state looks like Okay, so what the actual state is, okay? So, um, and, and this is what's handled by the store in, in, in React, right? So I'm gonna go to the index file in the reducers folder. And in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import from uh, Redux. So I'm gonna get Redux here, and then I'm gonna import the combine reducers function. Okay, combine reducers. And then I'm also going to import my um, shopping cart reducer. So I'll say shopping cart reducer from, and then I'll do dot slash uh, shopping cart reducer, right? So I'll get that. And what I want to do now is I want to export something. So I'm going to call, you know, combine reducers, and combine reducers takes an object, and this object's going to have the name of our state so i'm going to call this shopping cart colon and the value for this you know this key on our store is going to be the value that's returned from the shopping cart reducer so in combined reducers we name the key here and then we attach the function to it you know as the as the value right so this function is responsible for the value that is here okay Again, like this is a little bit complicated if you haven't seen it before. So we're going to go through the whole thing and then we'll step through it again, right? So um, if you don't pick it all up on the first try, don't worry about it, right? Um, it, trust me, it's really worth it. So I'm going to get um, I'm going to get uh, combined reducers here, and then I want to export this. So I'm going to say you know export uh, default like this, right? Okay, so I got export default. So this is going to call combine reducers, it's going to create the object here, and then it's going to return some value, and then we're going to export that value, okay? So, um, so that's kind of the, kind of a lot of the boilerplate for, for, for Redux. The, um, and that's just for setting up Redux, okay? So the next thing we need to do is we need to set up um, React so that it's working with Redux, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the app JS component and some people do this in index and that's okay too so you could do it here if you wanted right I'm actually just going to do it in app JS right and what we're going to do is in app JS we're going to import um, we're going to import um, from uh, Redux right so we're going to go to Redux and we're going to import a function called create store okay so this creates the store from our reducers and then we're going to import um, from 
React Redux. So we're going to go to React Redux, and they give us uh, this. This library gives us a a component that allows us to pass state around through the DOM tree, right? So or through our component tree, and it's called the provider. So we're going to import the provider component from React Redux. Okay. Now again, to do create store, we need to um, we need to create store from our reducers, right? So we need that that value returned from combined reducers. So let's import that also. So I'm going to get import. Um, sometimes they call this the root reducer. You can really call this anything, but I'll I'll call it root reducer from. Uh, and then let's do uh, dot slash reducers. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So, so this should give us, I didn't say it, but that'll give us the index file if we don't say what file, right? So it should be the value from the um, index file here, right? So root reducer is going to be the value returned from combined reducers, okay? Okay, so now we're good there. Now, before we get to our component here, let's um, do this. Let's uh, create our store. So I'm gonna say const, store and we could put this in another file too and import it and that might be a good way to do it i'm just going to simplify this right so, so we'll just keep it in as few places as possible so we're going to say um, store equals and we're going to create the store so i'm going to say create store and when we create the store we pass in the root reducer okay so now we've created the store and then the last step here is to um, create the provider component so I'm going to go into app here and I'm going to wrap my entire, oops, not product list, I want provider, right? Okay, I'm going to wrap my entire, um, you know, my entire list of components here in the provider. So the provider needs to be the parent for everybody. So anybody that wants access to the store has to be a child or a descendant of the provider, okay? So um, let me format that a little bit. And then provider takes one prop and that's the store. So I'm gonna say store equals, and we just created the store up above there. So I'll put the store here, okay? And if, we, if we've done everything correctly there, it's not gonna be doing anything yet, but we won't have any errors here. So if you see any errors here, check your spelling and go back and take a closer look at, at the stuff that we just did, right? Okay. So um, now we're in a pretty good spot. Let's see if we can get our um, get our, our Redux thing working, right? So let's make a, a, a simple component that will list the products in our shopping cart, okay? So uh, I'm gonna make a new file here. Let's do save this as um, shopping cart and i'm going to put it in the source directory it's not going to go inside actions or reducers right so we don't put any components in there i probably should have made a component um directory right i'm going to say shopping cart it'll be uppercase so that'll kind of remind us that this is a component and this component is going to um be a simple function called shopping cart and it's going to return, right, maybe just a div, and maybe it'll have a list of the items that are in your cart, right? So now remember, when we talked about the, um, the uh, reducer here, our goal, I'm going to go back to my reducer here, right? I'm going to go to the shopping cart reducer. The goal is that shopping cart is going to be an array, and it's going to have a list of items in it. And it'll just be right now, it'll just be the index of each item, right? That's in your cart. And this index is going to map to the values that are that's in our data JSON right here. Okay. And remember, we're actually kind of massaging this data through this data JS file right here. And we're exporting it. You know, I got the data exported here. So I'll import it from data JS. And then we can just use the index to pull up the shopping cart object, right, or, the, or the, the product object, right, like it'll be one of these guys, right, with a name and a category and whatnot. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do that. So let me go back to my shopping cart, um, shopping cart component, and I'm going to import the data, right? So I'm going to say import uh, data from 
Uh, let's do dot slash data. Yeah, there we go, right? Okay. So I've got the data here, and now I want to map these um, these items in my shopping cart to um, to like you know rows that are displayed down here. So I need to get the data from the Redux store first, right? So what we're going to do to do that, if I have a component that wants to read data from Redux, and what I want to do is I want to get at the um, I want to get at um, this guy right here, this array state, right? So I want to get at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this hook that they provide for us, right? So I'm going to go to React Redux. I'm going to import React Redux, and I'm going to choose Use Selector, okay? So Use Selector lets us pull our state up, okay? So inside the component here, remember, um, Hooks always begin with the word use, and hooks always have to be used within a, a functional component, okay? So I'm going to say const, um, let's call this like cart, and then I'll call use selector. And use selector takes a callback, so you put a function in here like this, right? And this function receives state, okay? So I'm going to take that off. We only have the one parameter, and it returns whatever your whatever you want from state. So remember, um, if I open up, let me go back here and get the shopping cart reducer so I can see it. Right, I'm going to go to com the, the the index for the, the the root reducer here, and you can see that state is going. Well, maybe you can't see, but I'm going to point it out. Right, state will be this object that we have here. Okay. So let me kind of get rid of those parentheses there. So state is this object that we're that we've added to combine reducers, and shopping cart is the name of the property where the array from this thing is going to be stored. So if I'm here and I get state, then what I can do is I can say state dot shopping cart to get the array that this shopping cart reducer produces, right, or returns, okay? So um, so that's where that name is coming from, right? So I'm going to put that side by side here. So that came from here. We defined it there, and then this is where we're going to get the value from it. So now this should be that array from that reducer, right? So let's map that now into some items for my cart, right? So I'll, I'll say, how about um, const items equals... Uh, Let's do cart dot map, and um, we'll map this. So we'll say, how about item equals? Um, let's just return a a paragraph. I don't know, right? So we'll just do p tag, and then we'll do item dot name. Okay, and um, I think that's good. And then now we can take this array of items and we can put it here. Okay, so I'll just display them there. And again, we can add more to this, right? We better export our component too. So I'm going to export default shopping cart. Okay, and now if I want to display the shopping cart, I'll import this into app.js and we can, we can use it there. So let's give this a test. I'm going to go to app.js here and let me actually close this thing up, right? And move this over and I'm going to import my shopping cart so I'll say import shopping cart from dot slash um, shopping cart and let's uh, you know it's got to go inside the provider because we're using use selector right and that's what allows us to use the store there so let's put it um, underneath the header but above the list of buttons so it should end up kind of in this area right and we could use a style to arrange it but uh, for right now we will just show it right okay so actually i don't see anything but everything sh hopefully is working right because we didn't see an error now right now our shopping cart is empty and we haven't set up any code to add things to the cart yet but we can still test it by going into our reducer here. And if you recall, if we go to the shopping cart reducer, if you recall, I told you that the 
reducer was responsible for the default value of state. So if I put a number here, then our shopping cart should have one item in it. Oh wait, I forgot, I gotta run my code again, right? It's not running, no wonder. No, it could have been broken the whole time. Let me see here, let me, um, let me start it up again. Yarn, start, I totally forgot about that. Oh, there we go. So looks like everything's working here. Let's see. Um, I actually don't see my cart there. Let's see. What if we put item number one there? Um, let me see. What else am I missing here? Um, let's check the DOM, right? So if something's not showing up, we're not getting any errors though, so that's great, right? Let's check the, the DOM here. Oh, I have one error. Did I make a mistake here? Um, so that's just a warning, like we are supposed to, are supposed to add the key prop, right? Um, oh, it says check the render method. I think that's also because this doesn't have a, um, a key prop, right? It says data. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot. So um, I made a mistake there, right? It says data is defined but never used. So we made I made a mistake here on the shopping cart. Let's go check it, right? Let's look at our cart there. I'm gonna go to shopping cart here. I guess I was working like a little too fast there. So um, item dot name. Remember, actually the the items here are actually uh, the index. So it's just a number, like it'll be like zero one two, right? So what we want to do is we want to use data to get the name. So I'll have to put data bracket item okay so i've got data bracket item dot name right so data bracket item should give us the item right this is really just the index of the item right so let's take a look so you can see i've got zoo lab and lot string that's product zero and product one in my shopping cart if i go to the reducer the um shopping cart reducer right here you can see that those two items right here in my shopping cart are the only two items in the um, in the cart right now. If I remove those, then this is gonna be empty. If I put item like one, two, and three in there, then I should have three items, right? So this is working, right? So all we gotta do now is um, add something to the cart, right? And we'll, we'll do that in the next video, right? So we'll add, we'll show how to send an action to, um, you know, modify your state. So right now we're actually just like using Redux and we're storing state in the store and we're pulling values out of state, right? Okay. So in the next video, we'll, we'll work on sending an action. Okay. So thanks for watching. And I hope that this is helpful. And like I said, when we get through this, we'll go through it all again and kind of reinforce all the concepts with Redux. Okay. So again, thanks for watching.